Hello and welcome everyone to my channel Code with Ease. So today in this video, we are going to solve sum of two large numbers. So we will be given two strings which denotes two non-negative numbers x and y and we have to calculate the sum of this. At the first glance, this may look to be a very simple problem where we just have to sum these two strings together and return the answer um, because the strings, but then that's not the case always. Uh, let's try doing it in the most naive way of doing it. So we'll do a print sum of print sum of integer dot parse in of x plus integer dot parse in y and we'll return a string representation of this. Let's try doing it in this way. Okay, so the output looks good. Let's try to submit this now. So when we are submitting, all the test cases are going to run. Okay, so it failed at 1000 test case. So let's look at, take a look at the input. So this seems to be the input and it's saying that there is an exception, uh, a normal number format exception. So what we can essentially un understand from this is the inputs that's given, those inputs, those inputs are exceeding the actual capacity of the integer, uh, the integer uh, data type. So the normal addition, uh, like we do in case of integers, that is not going to work because the strings can be big enough, and the integer representation of those strings are not possible which is why we are getting a number format exception. So now we have to think about a way in which we have to, we can sum it up, we can sum up the two uh, given strings, um, but then we have to do that by considering that they can be big integers and we cannot use any built-in libraries also in this case. So what we have to do? So what would be the approach for doing this? We can apply basic, School mathematics to solve this. What we do? Suppose we were given these two numbers and we had to add this. So, what we used to do is to start from the back, like 3 and 4, we used to add the last two digits and then we used to say 7, then 2 and 3, 5, and 1 plus 2 is 3. So, the answer was 357. This is how we used to add. If it is a bit complex, uh, a bit uh, bigger number which will have carries and everything. So in this case, what happens? 7 plus 3 is 10. So we'll say 0 here. And the 1 gets as a carry. So 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6. And then 1 plus 2 is 2. So I'm not going to teach basic school mathematics here. I want you guys to derive the... I want you guys to understand why we are trying to do this because this is going to be the baseline for for our logic to solve this so we start from the last digits which means given these two strings we have to take into account the unit digits of these two which means we have to start from back that's one thing that we understood so we have to take the unit digits of each and then we have to add it up if there is a carry we have to consider the carry as well and then we have to keep on doing this till we reach to its uh, the first digit of uh, each each string and then we'll add the carry to it and then we'll come with the final result okay so if if that's the thing that we have to do so there that we can just that we can just write in a couple of steps here number one would be to consider the unit digits of each string input and add it up. If carry is there, add that to continue this till the beginning of the string. Okay, uh, one more thing is uh, we'll add that to and then 
when we are considering these two unit digits like 5 and 3 we have to add this and then we have to add this to our to our result spring variable so keep on adding like uh, 5 plus 3 is 8 so 8 will add then 2 plus 2 is 4 then we'll add 4 so what happens is we can see that we are doing it in the reverse way but the answer should be in this format so it cannot be 8 4 it has to be 48 simply we have to just reverse the string at the end also reverse what the result string is there at the end that is pretty much the logic for us to solve this question so let's try to see uh, what will be the code for this so remove this first use a string builder to store our output string we keep on appending to this okay and then we have to also consider the lengths of these so i'll just define two variables in len x as x dot len and then y as y dot len okay, since we are going to start from backwards so we'll use a y loop provost from the back so we'll say y in len x so len x uh, is basically just the length while this len or we can do it like uh, uh, len x the value let us make it equal to the index of the last character because uh, that is what we need right we don't need the length we need n minus one so we'll say while this variable len x is greater than or equal to zero so it will go from the back to the front or or len y is greater than or equal to zero so if any of them why we are doing or we'll see that in a while so this is this y loop and we are going to traverse through the lengths of both now in this what is the first thing we have to do we have to consider the digits so let's say i'll say unit of x is equal to zero and we'll do a if check that if len of x is greater than or equal to zero we are doing this if check again because there is an or condition we never know when this might go uh, uh, might go beyond that so we better to do a check over here so once we have this uh, if check if it is greater than or equal to zero then we have to consider the digit so what will be our digit the digit will be assigned to this variable it will be x dot char at of this linux that that index basically and then we are going to decrement that index so we are just going back so this is we are doing with the first string the x string same thing we'll have to do it for the y string also it's a y then my unit of y okay i'll just initialize this also unit this variable is nothing but going to track the digits um at each position unit y simply y dot caret then y okay so now that we have our units with us let's try to sum it out so in the sum we have to consider the characters that we have i mean the digits that we have in characters and we also have to consider the carry so carry we will define here as int carry equal to zero okay so now that we have the sum with us once the sum is ready like in this case 3 plus 7 the sum is now 10 if the sum is 10 we don't want to have we don't want to add 10 to our 10 to our output string we want to add 0 to our output string so in that case what is going to be our uh, new carry so our cat i mean the carry will be one in this case okay so the carry is going to be sum by 10 Our digit is going to be sum mod 10. So, in this case, since the summation is already 
uh, equal to 10 and when we are going to divide it by 10 we are going to get 0 so 0 is going to be our digit and this is the digit that will eventually get added to our output string so we'll do output dot append digit so um, okay let let me just go over this again we have done the summation the carry we have changed the carry to this the carry will be one it's a carry forward the new digit which is going to be added to this string builder object is this one thing to note here is um, whenever we are dealing with strings and a string contains digits to uh, so now when we have to add this this append method will not take in the integer so we have to convert this to a character now when the moment we convert this digit to a character the problem is it will return the ascii value so in order to deal with that what we do is we'll just add a zero character to this this is digit plus zero this part is going to retain the digit originally in whatever format it is and char casting it to char is going to uh, make it suitable to append to the string builder object so this is what we have to do it within our while loop okay and uh, once this is done so it will go over here the carry uh, carry will be uh, considered for the next iteration again so this will keep on happening now outside the loop what can happen is uh, if the carry is still there okay so which means if carry is greater than zero then also we have to add this so we just add this output dot append and we'll append the carry to this And finally, what we have to do is now that we have our output ready, we have to reverse this output dot reverse. Reverse is a built-in method of the string builder class. And then we are going to do a two string of this. So I'll just go over this once again. So first we initialize the values of these two variables, the len x and y. And then we are one by one considering every digit and we are making it equal to zero because whenever the loop is running afresh the unit digits will be reinitialized to zero so that we can take in the fresh values of this and put it inside this video okay so we are doing this for x and then we're doing this for y we are calculating the sum every time a new sum will be calculated so with the new digits and with the carry and for calculating the carry uh, okay, yeah, so carry will be sum by 10, and then this digit will be sum for 10. Okay, and we are keeping on adding this, so this is going to happen till the tenure of this loop. Outside of this loop, we are going to add this carry. Okay, so let's try to run this. Uh, okay, to do a return of this, return of the box. Okay, so it seems the outputs do not match. Let me try looking into this. So, so we have while loop We're taking the unit digits, so unit digits x dot unit. Okay, okay, I, I get it. Uh, like the same thing which I was saying, what happens is char at um char at is going to return the character now that character the moment we put it inside another string or uh, into another integer the characters ascii value gets assigned to that integer okay so to deal with that the same thing we have to do we have to just make it retain the original integer value so i'll just do a minus if the same thing like we were doing it over here trying to retain the int value so here also we are going to retain the int value uh, for that character so yeah now let's try to run this okay so the output is matching let's try to submit okay so looks like another test case has failed 
so what happens is uh, in case of this if zeros multiple zeros are coming up um and then it is just trying to do a character by character i mean digit by digit addition and it's just simply trying to append those um as per our logic it is fine but then this it as it this a uh, number of zeros together as an integer doesn't make any sense the correct output should be zero only so we have to deal with this so what we can do is um, what we can do is if this is the output so let's uh, define a variable which is going to go till the end of this output dot length minus 1 and with this uh, string builder object only we can say while in uh, output dot char at of j if that is equal to 0 and uh, j is greater than 0 if that's the case then we have to do deletion from that so we'll say delete Cat at j and j minus minus. So if it is here, it's a match. It will delete this zero from back. So it will keep on deleting all the zeros from back till it reaches to a point where uh, it will retain only one zero. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that should be it. It should retain only one zero, so you have to go till the uh, till the zero plus one means till the one at one at index. So j greater than zero. Yeah, let's try to run this. Submit this and see. There should be character zero. Let's hope this time. Yeah, looks like it passed. Yeah. So yeah, that was the uh, one of the critical test cases. So it was a learning for us anyway. Um. So what happens? It seems the test cases get updated from time to time. It seems so. According to that, we have to tweak the logic for us. So I hope this problem is clear to you guys. Um, and uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Do consider subscribing my channel and uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any specific suggestions. Thank you so much.